is a direction which is denoted as v which is called as linear velocity which is called as the linear velocity it is also called as the tangential velocity ata ita jar pahile tar ha ek vector ahe it is denoted as radius vector a dusra vector ahe it is denoted as the tangential velocity now when we consider there will be the change in position so we can show this angle is here this angle is here which is denoted as theta but if the particle is moving along the anti clockwise direction according to this right hand rule you will find the direction will be in the upward direction so you find this is the direction of this theta this is the direction of this theta so what is this right hand rule if we consider suppose this is the right hand then this thumb is outstretched and these are the curled finger so if you observe here then you will find these are the curled finger this curled finger will denote the direction of the motion of the particle इतर जी बोट है अपनी कर्ड फिंगर या डायरेक्शन मध्य पार्टिकल फिर जर आप मान लो सो दिस फिंगर विल इंडिकेट द पार्टिकल इज मुविंग अलॉन्ग एंटी क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन देन दिस थंब विल डिनोट द डायरेक्शन ऑफ द वेक्टर तो यह पद्धतिन जर एंटी क्लॉकवाइज डायरेक्शन मध्य पार्टिकल फिर तो डायरेक्शन अपवर्ड आना है सीमिलरली इफ वी चेंज लाइक दिस वॉट विल हेपन सी now this curled finger will denote the direction of the particle along clockwise direction ta gadalya cha kate cha disheni hi boto firtana distat apnala ani ha jo angtha it is along the axis mhanje angtha ata kute ahe downward direction madhe ahe so you will find out the direction of these vectors so here this a diagram it is also can be drawn like this suppose this is the circular motion and again suppose this is the radius vector and now this is suppose this is angle theta okay now particle is moving in clockwise direction this arrow will indicate whether the particle is moving in anti clockwise direction or clockwise direction if it is a moving in the clockwise direction then easily you can find out the direction of this angular displacement it is in the downward direction so you should remember here we have considered anti clockwise direction anti clockwise direction and here we have considered clockwise direction yacha sathi apan anthi ek sadha udaharan deu shakto batli cha jhakan tumhi pahilela asel batli aste tya batli cha jhakan apan कुठे फिरवल्यानंतर उघडतं पहा ते जर आपण या पद्धतीने फिरवलं या पद्धतीने म्हणजे कसं फिरवतोय मी अँटी क्लॉकवाईज डायरेक्शनमध्ये फिरवतोय तर ते बाटलीचं झाकण निघत आहे म्हणजे वरती येत आहे सो इट विल इंडिकेट द डायरेक्शन कारण राईट हँड स्क्रू रूल पण आपण त्याच्यामध्ये वापरतो आणि उलटं जर बाटलीचं झाकण आपण जर घट्ट केलं तर आपण जी डायरेक्शन आपल्याला मिळते इट विल बी इन द डाऊनवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो इझिली यू कॅन फाइंड आउट ऑल दिज आर द वेक्टर्स angular displacement angular velocity angular acceleration all you will find because if this angular displacement is along this axis then remaining two quantities omega and alpha it is also in along this axis now here we can find out the direction for the omega you will find the same thing omega that is the angular velocity it is depending on this angular displacement because we know the formula omega is equal to d theta divided by dt so rate of change of angular displacement with respect to time it is called as the angular velocity so ja direction madhe tumchi angular displacement ahe tyach direction madhe tumcha omega asnar ahe if particle is moving in the anti clockwise sense of direction omega will be in the upward if the particle is moving in the clockwise direction the omega will be in the downward direction similarly the third factor that is alpha 
it is a given with the help of this formula the rate of change of angular velocity means the direction of this angular acceleration it is a depends on the angular velocity but here you should remember that if the angular velocity if it is a goes on increasing जर एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी ही वाढ़ जाए इनिशियल एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी कमी है नर मात्र एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी वाढ़ी है फॉर एक्जाम्पल फैन च उदाहरण तुम्हारा संगता ये कि फैन अपन सुरुवती ऑन के हलूह स्पीड वाढ़त जे एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी वाढ़ जी ज्याला फैन अपन स्विच ऑफ करते सुरुवती एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी जास्त आती नर ती हलूह कमी होती तर या दोन सिचुएशन मध्य तुम्हारे लक्षा ये इफ ओमेगा एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी इनक्रीजेस इफ एंगुलर वेलॉसिटी इनक्रीजेस देन द डायरेक्शन ऑफ दिस अल्फा इट इज इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन इट इज इन द अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन बट इफ ओमेगा गोज ऑन डिक्रीजिंग और ओमेगा डिक्रीजेस देन यू विल फाइंड the direction of this alpha it will be in the downward direction it will be in the downward direction means you will find all these are the vectors so we know about their definitions their units their dimensions also we can find out their directions by using the right hand rule also so you will find theta omega alpha all these are the vectors along the axis of rotation so all these vectors are called as axial vector this is a very important concept that is of the axial vector so today here we have explained about this two terminology so the we will discuss the last point here and then we will stop that is or uh, we know the analogous terms and when we consider about these analogous terms then we can find out the kinematical equations that is very important part jas a linear motion madhe tumhi kinematical equations banavlele ahe scalar form madhe tasach apan circular motion madhe sudha kinematical equations we can form here kinematical equation now these kinematical equations are also given in the scalar form also given in the scalar form you should know only the analogous terminology analogous terminology yacha arth kay ahe in this case s is analogous to theta so s is the linear displacement it is analogous to angular displacement here we can consider u and v these are called as the linear velocity linear initial velocity linear final velocity here we can use the notation omega 0 and omega so instead of these two notations we can use these two notations in case of circular motion and finally a it is analogous to alpha so if we know these are the analogous terminology then easily you can write the kinematical equations in the scalar form for circular motion let's try and uh, we'll stop here so how we can form this kinematical equation here the first kinematical equation is v is equal to u plus at now v is analogous to omega so i will write here omega is equal to u is analogous to omega 0 so it is written as omega 0 plus a is analogous to alpha and time factor it will remain the same let's see it is very simple so this is called as the first kinematical equation which is used in case of circular motion similarly how we can find out the second kinematical equation s is called as the linear displacement we can replace it with theta is equal to u it is a replace with a omega 0 then t it will be the time plus half it is a constant a is replaced with alpha and t square it will remains as the same 
C. It is called as the second kinematical equation. And how we can form the third kinematical equation? You can observe V. It is a final linear velocity. So it is a replaced with omega square is equal to u is the linear initial velocity. It is a replaced with omega zero square plus two times of a linear acceleration. It is replaced with alpha. S is the linear displacement. It is a replaced with theta. So you will find these are the very important relations, which is called as the kinematical equations, which are given in the scalar form related to the circular motion. So you can observe if the particle is in linear motion, you have to use this. Now here we have shown this is the horizontal motion. We can consider the vertical motion also, but it should be in a straight line. जस एखादी वस्तु आहे आपण वरती टाकली तर ती वरून सरळ खाली येणार आहे म्हणजे मोशन विच इज अबाउट एक्स एक्सिस ऑर वाय एक्सिस इन अ स्ट्रेट लाईन इट इज कॉल्ड ॲज द लिनियर मोशन सर्क्युलर मोशन मध्ये साधी मोशन आहे की एक सिंगल पार्टिकल गोलाकार मार्गाने कॉन्स्टंटली फिरत राहतो आणि या पद्धतीनं दोन मोशनच्या मध्ये असणारं जे को रिलेशन आहे हे आजच्या तासामध्ये आपण पाहिलेलं आहे या ठिकाणी आपण थांबूया थँक्यू